Hi, today we're learning all about inverse operations. Now inverse is the fancy mathematical word for what we mean the opposite. Okay, so that means the inverse of multiplication is division. And the inverse or opposite of division is multiplication. So here we have a very simple multiplication fact and it says 6 times 2 equals 12. So now I'm going to show you how to write the inverse or the opposite of that times table fact. So to write the inverse of 6 times 2 equals 12, imagine in your heads you've got a giant bubble. Okay, and we're going to put that bubble, let's say, around 2. But if we put that magic bubble around 2, we've also got to put it around the times. Okay, this is what we know as the operation. And operations include add, subtract, divide, and time. So we're going to put the bubble around the operation and a number. So let's put it around two. We could do it with six, but I'm just going to choose two. Okay, so we wrap them up in a bubble like that. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take that times two and we're going to move it to the opposite side of that equal sign. Okay, a little bit like this. So if you imagine... Okay, together now, on the count of three, we're going to blow really hard and move that bubble to the opposite side of the equal sign. Ready? <gasps> Whew. Ah, I don't know about you, but I'm completely out of breath. Just, just hold on a moment. Whew. Okay, that was a lot of hard work. Well, now that you can see, we've managed to get that magic bubble with the times two to the other side of the equal sign. So can you see what happened to the times 2? Because it's gone to the opposite side of the equal sign, it's become a divide. Okay, so we know times is the opposite of divide. Okay, so what we've got here is that we know 6, okay, is the answer to 12 divided by 2. Okay, we, it, we can rewrite that to make it look a bit easier. 6 is the answer to 12 divided by by 2. How amazing is that? We could even have done it with a 6 as well. Okay, so if we had 6 times 2 equals 12, if we'd wrapped that magic bubble around the 6, we'd also have to wrap it around the operation, don't forget. Okay, and if we blow that one really hard to the other side of the equal sign, <gasps> and look at that. Okay, now we know that 2 is the answer to 12 divided by 6. And we've shown you an inverse operation. Okay, we've shown that the opposite or the inverse of 6 times 2 equals 12 could either be 12 divided by 2 equals 6 or 12 divided by 6 equals 2. Now let's try something a little bit tricky. Trickier, trickier, trickier! <coughs> uh, sorry. Now, this is a lot, a lot trickier, okay? Because we've got 12 divided by something equals 3. What in the world is that? Okay, now this is where inverse operations actually becomes super, super useful, okay? In order to work out a missing number problem. So we can use inverse to help us to solve this. Now, if you're struggling to think, oh my gosh, I don't know my division. I don't know how to work out 12 divided by something equals 3. Don't panic, okay? Don't panic, because you definitely know your times tables. And that to you might be a lot easier than dividing, okay? So how, if we said to you, okay, you've got 12 divided by something equals 3, how would you show you're working out, okay? Talk to your partner and see whether or not you can work out a way to solve this problem. And then I'm going to show you how to use inverse in order to solve it. Okay, you're back? Fantastic. Hopefully, you and your partner have had to go on your whiteboard and try to solve this your way. Now I'm going to show you how to use inverse in order to solve this division problem. Okay. So, we know we've got 12 divided by something equals 3. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Okay. Let's leave 12 where it is. And let's wrap up this 
mystery number in our magic bubble as well as the operation okay so let's wrap that up in our magic bubble okay and we're going to take it to the opposite side of the equal sign so now it looks a bit like this so now we'd have 12 equal equals 3 now don't forget what happens to the operation when it moves to the opposite side hmm well it becomes the opposite so the divide becomes a times so 3 times something equals 12 now we've still got a missing number there but now we know our times tables and this will help us now so what can we times by 3 in order to get 12 hmm well thinking back how do we work how did we use to work this out I know so let's draw a number line. Very, very quickly this is how I'm going to work it out draw a very quick number line okay I've got to get to 12 and I've got to jump up in 3 so 0 add 3 is 3 3 add 3 is 6 6 add 3 is 9 9 add 3 is 12 so let's count the jumps 1 2 3 4 so that means 3 times 4 equals 12 so if 4 is our missing number okay let's go back to the previous question so 3 times 4 equals 12 so that means 12 divided by 4 equals 3 okay and that's how you can use inverse operations in order to check okay but or in order to solve a number sentence that you don't understand or a missing number sentence all I need to do is have a go and answer these two questions on your whiteboard and if you think you and your partner have got them right show them to me your teacher or your, or your teaching assistant to, and let them check that you've done it right and they say yep fantastic well done for understanding in, how to use inverse operations and you can have a go with, the, with one of the activities that's out there in your classroom well done good luck and remember if you don't understand anything you've watched rewind this video and have another go and if you're still completely stuck don't panic that's what we're here for Good luck. Good luck.